is Rose and this video is Slaughterbots, Lethal Autonomous Weapons and the Ban on Killer Robots. This short and disturbing film is the latest attempt by campaigners and concerned scientists to highlight the dangers of developing autonomous weapons that can find, track, fire on targets without human supervision. They are called Lethal Autonomous Weapons or laws and their military mission would be to seek out identify and kill a human target independent of human control human decision would not be in the loop and the only button a military commander would have to push would be the on button in military terms it's called fire and forget customer pilots directed almost 3,000 precision strikes last year we're super proud of it it allows you to separate the bad guys from the good. It's a big deal. But we have something much bigger. Your kids probably have one of these, right? Not quite. Hell of a pilot? No. That skill is all AI. It's flying itself. Its processor can react a hundred times faster than a human. The stochastic motion is an anti-sniper feature. Just like any mobile device these days, it has cameras and sensors, and just like your phones and social media apps, it does facial recognition. Inside here, is three grams of shaped explosive. This is how it works. Did you see that? That little bang is enough to penetrate the skull and destroy the contents. They used to say guns don't kill people. People do. Well, people don't. They get emotional, disobey orders, aim high. Let's watch the weapons make the decisions. Now, trust me, these were all bad guys. Now, that is an airstrike of surgical precision. It's one of a range of products. Trained as a team, they can penetrate buildings, cars, trains, evade people, bullets, pretty much any countermeasure. They cannot be stopped. Now, I said this was big. Why? Because we are thinking big. Watch. A $25 million order now buys this. Enough to kill half a city, the bad half. Nuclear is obsolete. Take out your entire enemy, virtually risk-free. Just characterize him, release the swarm, and rest easy. These are available today. We have a distribution network taking orders from military, law enforcement, and specialist clients. The nation is still recovering from yesterday's incident, which officials are describing as some kind of automated attack, which killed 11 U.S. senators at the Capitol building. They flew in from everywhere, but attacked just one side of the aisle. It was chaos. People were screaming. You can see high windows, very small, precisely punctured to gain entry to the building. What did you do for the victim? I just did what I could for him. Things weren't even interested in me. They're just buzzing. Government right sources away. admit the intelligence community has no idea who perpetrated the attack, nor whether it was a state, group, or even a single individual. So if we can't defend ourselves, then we strike back. We are investing very heavily in classified defense projects. We make it our deterrent like our nuclear deterrent. We stockpile in the millions, the billions. At key facilities, the White House, the New York Stock Exchange, Our Wall Street. Safe in their homes. Well, we wish we had boots on the ground in every community in this country, but we don't. So our instructions Ollie? and our suggestions are to stay in touch with Ollie, you. Ollie, oh, hey, hi. Hi, Ollie, honey. How, how is Edinburgh today? How, how are all your studies going, huh? Good. Great. Oh, great. Hey. 
Aren't we doing a video call today? I'm uh, kind of with people, so... Uh... Oh. Oh, well, come on, Oliver, put her on. Oh, no, it's, uh, it's, 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 not, it's not like that. No, oh, well, listen, I see some photos here with somebody, and I can see lots of likes, and what's that all about? Oh, wait a minute here, and on your mom, do you the spy stuff in the military? What? What is this video right here? Oh, uh, no, I'm not going to click on oh, that. Oh, it's just this, uh, human rights thing about a oppression or whatever. H honey, honey, you're not going into politics, are you? I mean, so no hey, mom. Safe okay. here, just like you said it would be. Oh, Heavy traffic approaching the A720 this morning due to police Police are not saying this morning what prompted the alert. Claim relaxing firearm legislation would be useless against the so-called slaughterbots. As to stay away from crowds. When indoors, keep windows covered with shutters. Protect your family. Stay inside. Authorities are still struggling to make sense of an attack on university campuses worldwide, which targeted some students and not others. The search for a motive is apparently turning to social media, and a video shared by the victims exposing corruption at the high... But it's far from surprising. The weapons took away the expense, danger, and risk of waging war. And now we can't afford to challenge anyone, really. It's, it's not, even, not even the smallest fringe group or a crank. Who could have done this? Uh, anyone. Dumb weapons drop where you point them. Smart weapons consume data. When you can find your enemy using data, even by a hashtag, you can target an evil ideology right where it starts. This short film is more than just speculation. It shows the results of integrating and miniaturizing technologies that we already have. I'm Stuart Russell, a professor of computer science at Berkeley. I've worked in AI for more than 35 years. Its potential to benefit humanity is enormous, even in defense. But allowing machines to choose to kill humans will be devastating to our security and freedom. Thousands of my fellow researchers agree. We have an opportunity to prevent the future you just saw, but the window to act is closing fast. Ban on killer robots, urgently needed, says scientists. Technology now exists to create autonomous weapons that can select and kill human targets without supervision as UN urged to outlaw them. The movie portrays a brutal future. A military firm unveils a tiny drone that hunts and kills with ruthless efficiency. But when the technology falls into the wrong hands, no one is safe. Politicians are cut down in broad daylight. The machines descend on a lecture hall and spot activists who are swiftly dispatched on an explosive with an explosive to the head. The short, disturbing film in is the latest attempt by campaigners and concerned scientists to highlight the dangers of developing autonomous weapons that can find, track, and fire on targets without human supervision. They warn that the preemptive ban on the technology is urgently needed to prevent terrible new weapons of mass destruction. Stuart Russell, a leading artificial intelligence scientist at the University of California in Berkeley, Berkeley and others will show the film on Monday during an event at the United Nations Convention on Conventional Weapons hosted by the Campaign to Stop Killer Robots. 
the manufacture and use of autonomous weapons such as drones, tanks, and automated machine guns would be devastating for human security and freedom. The window to halt the development in close, is closing fast, Russell warned. The technology illustrated in the film is simply an integrated integration of existing capabilities. It is not science fiction. In fact, it is easier to achieve than self-driving cars, which require far higher standards of performance, Russell said. The military has been one of the largest funders and adopters of artificial intelligence technology. The, commu the computing technology helps robots fly, navigate terrain, and patrol territories under the seas. Hooked up to a camera feed, image recognition algorithms can be scanned, video footage for targets better than a human can. An automated sentry that guards South Korea's border with the north draws on the technology to spot and track up to four kilometers away. While military drones have long been flown remotely for surveillance and attack, autonomous weapons armed with explosive and target recognition systems are now within reach and can could locate and strike without deferring to a human controller. Opponents believe that handling machines that power over who lives and dies crosses a clear mortal line. Pursuing the development of lethal autonomous weapons would drastically reduce international, national, local, and personal security, Russell said. Scientists used a similar argument to convince President Lyndon Johnson and Richard Nixon to renounce the U.S. Biological Weapons Program and ultimately bring about the Biological Weapons Convention. Because artificial intelligent powered machines are relatively cheap to manufacture, critics fear the autonomous weapons could be mass produced and fall into the hands of rogue nations or terrorists who could use them to suppress population, wreak havoc, as the movie portrays. A treaty banning autonomous weapons would prevent large-scale manufacturing of the technology. It would also provide a framework to police nations working on the technology, right? The spread of dual-use devices and software such as quadcopters and target recognition algorithms, professional codes of ethics should also disallow the development of machines that can decide to kill a human, Russell said. In August, more than a hundred of the world's leading robotics and artificial intelligence pioneers called on the UN to ban development of use of killer robots. The open letter signed, and I'll show you that in a bit, by the Tesla chief executive Elon Musk and Mustafa Suleiman, the founder of Alphabet's Deep Mind Artificial Intelligence Unit, warned an that an urgent ban was needed to prevent the third revolution in warfare. After gunpowder and nuclear arms, so far 19 countries have called for a ban, including Argentina, Egypt, and Pakistan. Noel Sharkley, the emeritus professor of AI at Sheffield University and chair of International Committee on robot, robot arms control warned about the dangers of autonomous, wep, autonomous weapons 10 years ago. The movie made my hair stand on end as it is crystallized one of the most possible futuristic outcomes for the development of high-tech weapons, he said. There is an emer emerging arms race among the high-tech nations to develop autonomous su submarines, fighter jets, battleships, tanks that can find their own targets and apply violent force without the involvement of meaningful human decision. It would only take one major war to unleash the new weapons with tragic humanitarian consequence and destabilization of global security. Criminals, activists have long replied on mask of disguise to hide their identities that but new computer vision version but the new computer vision techniques can essentially see through them earlier this year indian government founded funded scientists work with cambridge university on the algorithms to identify people who obscure their faces with hats sunglasses fake beards scarves and remains hard it remains a hard technical problem but face recognition is the only way to identify people a balakavla does not hide one genders or 
I'm sorry, I don't know that word, uh, genders or age or ethnicity. It could easily become the norm that the weapons will also track those deemed to be preventing identification or classification by covering up their face and body, Russell said. In 2015, the U.S. government opposed the international ban on killer robots. The Foreign Office said it was no need... It saw no need for the prohibition in international humanitarian law already regulated the area. The UK is not developing lethal auto autonomous weapon systems and the operation of West weapons systems by the UK armed forces will always be under human oversight and control, a foreign office spokesman said at the time. But according to the campaign to stop killer robots, a number of nations, including U.S., China, Russia, Israel, South Korea, the United Nations, are moving towards systems that would give greater combat autonomy to machines. The U.N. moves at an iceberg pace, and actors with vested interests put obstacles in the path of every turn, Sharkley said. But the campaign continues to move forward with massive support from sci the scientific community. We must succeed because the alternatives are too horrifying. Okay, I will be leaving the links for this article here from The Guardian. I will leave the link for the open letter to the United Nations Convention on Certain Conventional Weapons. I will leave the PDF for the campaign letter to stop killer robots. I will leave a PDF uh, for an organization that has an article on what fully autonomous weapons are. And I will leave the link for the Ban Lethal Autonomous Weapons website. Thank you for your time. Please comment and tell me what you think. This is real. This is not fake. I pray God's peace, protection, and grace be with you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Bye.